Hello, this is Malcolm Bowden. I'd like to deal with two questions that have been raised in connection with the geocentric model. The first is dealing with the uh, parallax of starlight. As we go round the Sun in the heliocentric model, we see some near stars um, which are nearer than the far distant stars and as we go around the other side of the Sun these near stars move very slightly relative to the stars in the far distance and you can see this on the diagram what we're talking about. So that gives the impression that we are going round the Sun and the near stars move very slightly relative to the other stars. The other question that has been raised is somewhat similar. When we're on one side of the Sun, we are moving towards a particular star, and as we move towards it, its redshift, or the galaxy, the redshift of a galaxy really, the redshift um, is actually slightly altered, so that it moves a little bit towards the blue end of the spectrum. Similarly, when we're around the other side of the Sun, as we're moving away from the galaxy, then the redshift is slightly increased, a very, very small amount, just about detectable. And therefore, it does seem to show that we are actually going round the Sun. How does a geocentrist explain that? Very simply, by accepting that the stars are actually moving around, are centred basically on the Sun, as the planets are. So that when the Earth is stationary, the stars are really rotating um, very slowly, or they're at least they're centred basically on the Sun. And if you look at the geometry, you will find you get exactly the same results of the near stars giving a parallax uh, angle with the distant stars. And it also explains why we get a very small shift in the redshift when we're looking at distant galaxies. It's the same basic model and we have an explanation for it. Now it may be thought that that is a somewhat arbitrary explanation, but if you are going to um, adopt the heliocentric one, which seems to be simpler, then we're just simply asking that how on earth do you explain the four other experiments, all of which clearly show that it is we who are stationary, the ether is moving, the planetary system is moving around us, and we consider that the stars are basic, basically centred on the Sun and uh, not upon necessarily the Earth. And we get exactly the same results of star parallax and a small degree of redshift for distant galaxies as we do with the heliocentric model. And all the experiments and all the assumptions all then tie up together in one complete uniform whole. And that is that we are at the centre of the universe and the ether is sweeping everything around us and we are the ones who are at the centre and who are stationary. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for listening.